we're going to look at an app called iPrompt Pro. Um, this is an app that you can use with students with their projects whenever they're presenting. Uh, it's basically like an easy to use teleprompter. Click on iPrompt Pro and this is a free app and so the first thing it does it takes a couple seconds to load up because it's trying to sell you something. Just be patient and wait and finally they'll take you to the app. Alright, uh, at first comes up this one I created. This one is the one that comes native to the program. And this is the directions that you can use to find out more. But it's really self-explanatory. Uh, basically, it's just a prompter. So you enter text, and then it gives you options on how that text uh, will scroll. So just give an idea of how to enter text. You just add an, document, an item right here. Give it a title. Put some test. Uh, put your text in here. Test, test, test. And then save it. It's going to give you another uh, section right here. And now, I'll, instead of using this one, just so, so you can see what it looks like um, when you have a lot of text, I'll use the directions itself. But that's how easy it is to put something in. All right, now that I got something in, you click on this button, and you can start, edit, copy, or delete. I'm going to start it just to show you what the default settings are. And so it gives you a prompter, and it automatically scrolls it. Now, this scrolling is um, very customizable. So you can change the different fonts, so whatever is easiest for the kids to read. Uh, font sizes, it's set at 36. You can set it bigger or smaller. This is important, background colors. Some people prefer black background with a white text. Uh, you can change that white background with black text. Um, but that is customizable. Again, whatever is easiest for the kids to use. Orientation landscape, I think that's a good idea. Uh, looping, scrolling speed, that's important depending on the level of readers. Um, you can also uh, attach a VGA cable so you can put this on a larger monitor than the screen. Um, so that's helpful. Automatically start. One thing, other thing I do suggest is on the start delay, you saw how it just came right back, right up, right when I hit start. You can give it a couple seconds, and usually that would be good when you're having students present. That way, whenever I hit this start button, it'll give me a couple seconds and then get it going, which I like that. It gives kids some time to prepare. So that's a really quick and easy app, uh, very self-explanatory. Add the text, customize it however you want it to go, and it's really cool for kids presenting. Um, you can just put it right on the iPad, set it up um, on a stand, and be ready to go.